if you want to know how to make a little checkpoint system for your game, for obbies, or anything where you want, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to this video. In this video, I want to be making a little checkpoint system for your own uh, game. So if you leave and rejoin, you're going to be on uh, your, your own stage without using any spawn locations. We're going to be using my system, and it is not complex. It is pretty easy overall, and it should not be a long tutorial, so I'm going to do this quickly. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, because it really supports me out. If you want to become a member, go hit that blue join button down below. And uh, let's um, start off. So first of all, we want to be making a script in server script service, and you want to type local d d uh, dss is equals to game colon get service data store service because of course you need to get a data a data store. Uh, I'm gonna actually call it a database because it sounds cooler. Yes. Um, I'm gonna continue right now. So local db is equals to dss colon get data store and then you want to type anything you want. I'm just going to do game db but if you change anything in this, so it, like for example you remove the b, uh, all of your save is going to be gone. I'm going to do this, game.players.player added colon connect function player player.character added colon connect function char. Okay, just type these lines. Then, we want to be inserting a level, local level equals instance.new, num <coughs> number value, I am sorry, player, we're going to do that into the player, <coughs> level.value equals to zero, and level.name is equals to level. So if you play your own game, I'm just going to wait a quick second, there we go, I'm going to play, And if we're going to play our game, you can go into players, new BRP dev. And you can see a level over here. You can do 9999. And you have. Okay, well. It's not confusing. It is just um, easy overall. Are we continuing right now? You want to be typing local data is nothing. Local success, comma, error message equals to pcal. We're going to make a pcal function. So if our game breaks, it's not going to actually break. It's just going to continue with life. Mm. There. Um, data is equals to db colon get async uh, the player the user id out of the level like that, and then if success then level that value is equals to data because we just set our data to this, and if that's not the case then we're gonna warn our game with the error message. And now we're going to be making the actual teleporting function. Main teleporting function. Print player.name, comma, player.user ID has entered my game. And then local level joint is equals to level.value. So we're just gonna uh, get get the level dot value from our uh, variable. Ooh. And then once we did that, we can actually do wait 0.5. So we're just gonna wait for the game a bit to load in. Well, hold up. Uh, print player dot name dot dot is at level dot dot level joined. So we join the game, and it, it, we can actually try that right now. If you play your game. We're gonna press F9. Give me a quick second. Okay, there. Um. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that is. Weird glitch. Um. I'm gonna go into your game. I'm gonna go to security and enable this one. Only API save. Boom. You're gonna play our game, and it should be working now. Yep, Newbie Dev has entered my game. Newbie Dev is at level zero, so Newbie is actually at level zero, which is quite logical. Wait, 0.5 um, char that humanoid root part. The position is equals to game that workspace that levels. Come on, find first child level. 
I'm actually gonna zoom out a bit because I need to do something. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay, zoom in again. Gain the workspace. The levels call five for church. Level. And then dot dot level joined. Like that. But dot dot position. So this is your main teleporting function. You want to go into workspace, add in a folder, and name it levels. But now it's the confusing part. You want to get your uh, part. You're going to put it all around the map. I'm going to put them right over here. Like that. Five levels. Okay. This one's going to be level zero. Make sure to put level in front of it. Level one. Level. Oh, crap. Level two. Level three. I cannot spell. Holy crap. Level four. So these are your levels. You want to get them. You want to put anchored on. Can collide falls. And you want to put them in levels. So you're going to see. If we play the game. We're going to be teleported to this one. I'm going to actually make it neon. To show you guys neon. There. We're going to play the game. And you will notice immediately. We are, are not at the same place. We're on the. Ew. Uh, there we go. We just loaded in. We waited. And we're now we're at this point. So this is a quick um, a checkpoint system. We are not done yet. I'm just gonna add in a quick um, text to nose. I gotta get a text label. I'm just gonna make it uh, there. I'm gonna make it easy. Just add in a local script. Uh, game the player thought. Uh, well, wall true do. Wait. Script the parent the text is equals to um, uh, game the player the local player dot level the value and then you can do level level dot dot just like that and you can make it background transparency one rich text why not crumb oh, sure okay we're just gonna play the game. Mm, level zero because we're at level zero. I'm gonna add in a quick script into these. Uh, you can type with me if you want. Just try catch me up. Function hit. If hit the parent, come on, find first child. Um, um, if we're gonna set that to uh, humanoid, then game dot uh, well local plr equals to game dot players come on get player from character hit the parent. Um, and then after we did that, you can do player dot level that value uh, equals to one. So it's going to be the first one. This is going to be the second one. This is going to be the third one, and this is going to be the fourth one. So play. Shouldn't be easy. Okay, boom, level one. And I feel if I'm right, if you you may test in studio, it's gonna be a bit glitchy. Yeah, level zero. Uh, we're gonna actually try this out in the actual game, so let's see you guys there. So we are gonna continue with our script. Um gonna add in a quick little event. Game the player, the player removing, call a connect function player. Uh, local success error message equals to pcal function uh, db comma set async player to user id at the thought level comma player dot level the value and then if success then print successfully saved why not and else, we're gonna warn again our game with a uh, error message. And uh, we're gonna test this out right now. It should not be too hard. Go ahead and copy this, and we are gonna test this out right now. So let's see you there. There we go. We're joining in. There, we're at level zero. If you look at the game, yep. We're gonna be level two. Nah, level three should be fine. Phone, can you shut up? So we're uh, oh wait, hold up. Boom. 
And we're gonna test this out. We're gonna leave and uh, see what is gonna happen. And we're back joining in. As you can see, we are automatically level 3. I did not cut out any of this. And um, as you can see, server, new server level is level 3. So this worked. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. And if you have any video suggestions, um, yeah, you should join my Discord server and suggest it with SP Suggest and Bot Commands by Spensor. Anyways, if you enjoyed, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out and goodbye. <laughs>